Welcome back, guys. We are, uh, nice, nice quick scopes. Uh, what the? What did you just do? That's just, you can pick up items and twirl them around without, you know, you, you have telekinesis. In the game. <laughs> Wait, is that actually telekinesis? No, it's just. It's just the physics. Okay, that is that's funny. Sorry, I didn't know about that. Um, in the last episode, we talked to her, got our bolt action gun, killed some geckos, and uh, we ended it there. Talked to the merchant, sold some stuff, did some of that, and now we're just kind of off surviving on our own. Um, what just happened to your arms? <laughs> I have no idea. Fallout. It's a little messed up. How are these more Let's go. <sighs> Look at that aim. Oh crap. Oh, oh. oh wow. Go Cheyenne, go. Wait, she did, did Cheyenne just body slam her? <laughs> I think so. Some hardcore Pokemon moves right there. Uh I don't know where they went. So basically right now I just kind of accepted a a mini quest. Oh, here they are. And uh, I'm just helping her kill some geckos at these watering pools. And if I remember correctly, if you walk over here, you can see this guy running away. <laughs> and I never... <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand that. I never understand. Is that like a collateral? No, that was it just the other one just got shot. It'd be hard to pull off a collateral in this game. I was just wondering, it looked like one got shot through the other, so Oh body slam time for Cheyenne. Oh, never mind. What's your favorite gun that you you have right now? You've got like the nine millimeter nine millimeter submachine gun, you got a nine millimeter pistol and you got this gun. What which one do you prefer? I like the pistol actually. And just because it's... Oh, crap. Uh, oh, that's strange. Just because... I don't know. It's so much better than the one in Fallout 3. I think it just looks more realistic. Oh, hell's bells. There's not a day passes. Some people... Well, but you did what you promised. One more thing I wanted to... Thought I might teach you about living off the land. Alright then. Time to survive. Yeah, we're gonna be skipping a lot of the dialogue just to shorten these videos up. You might we we might like tell you if there's anything important that they said afterwards, but basically she I think what'd she say we're gonna she's gonna teach us how to live off the land. Yeah, basically she just asks if you want to uh like learn how to do this new crafting thing that you can do at any fire pit. Uh, around the game and so that yeah I just accepted that and I'm gonna do that right now with a little bit of scavenging on my way I really enjoyed that that bucket throwing I found that highly entertaining <laughs> I just oh nice and for anybody who doesn't know uh, you do run faster when your gun is holstered so just words of the wise. Wait, is there sprinting or is there just like the like the no. standard movement? This is just like, I mean, I don't know. The animation kind of makes it look like you're moving fast, but I guess you kind of are. There's no like official sprinting though, or at least as far as I've found out. You haven't gotten the running shoes like in Pokemon yet? No, I have not. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, we both play Pokemon. It might seem nerdy, but what are you going to do about it? What is that thing? Is that a huge, like, cricket? Yeah, it's Praying Mantis, and it's uh, one of the enemies in the game that really takes me off because they're so damn small. Uh, Aimbot doesn't work with such small um, animals. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, that's the only reason they really take me off because they're so small. It's just really hard to hit them. So basically, you can just pick up those turnip things. And I guess I'll go into this school right now. Why not? 
Is there anyone in here that's important or anything? No, this is just really abandoned, and there's a few more. Okay, seriously. <laughs> Aimbot. Oh. Headshot. Oh, headshot. All pro. I just gotta do a little of that. No, isn't there isn't there like something that controls how much vats you can do or something? Yeah, that's AP. On the left, there's HP, which is health, and then AP's on the right, and it basically just. Each weapon has a different amount of AP for how much you can use it in VATS. Whoa, I did not see these guys. Really? Yeah, and my weapon my weapon really sucks right now. Because she gives it to you in really crappy condition. <laughs> Stealth. No, so, wait, does the gun just wear out after, like, use, or do you have to, like, beat it up, or how does it get in worse condition than it starts in? Uh, well, basically, normally guns just, like, start out <clears throat> in random condition, and the more you use it, so, like, the more you shoot with it, or if you get hit, like, if an enemy cripples your arm or something while you're using the weapon, the, uh, the condition will decrease... And then if it decreases, like, a little more than half, then you have to do this really annoying animation when you reload, where you kind of have to, like, reload the gun a second time. And it's just... it They just use that as an incentive to keep repairing your weapons, or else you might be kind of screwed in combat. Do your weapons start doing less damage if they're, uh, like, damaged or anything? Yes, they do. That's cool. Yeah. I haven't played many RPGs as myself. I play a. Uh... Oh, let's hear this. Let's see. Let's see Austin's lock picking skill. Oh, uh, pro. Wow, that was pro. Uh, is lock picking one of your favorite things in this game? Yeah, it's really useful, or at least it wasn't Fallout Three, because a lot of stuff was just like. I mean, it's not like a thing where you have to have a certain amount of skill to like use it i mean all you have to do is like turn the analog sticks so you know it's, it's it's really easy and if you have the certain skill points put into it you can open just like any kind of box because they're locked by skill points you can just open like boxes that are very hard like in the very beginning of the game if you have enough skill into it sweet yeah i remember uh one of my friends he played fallout 3 on like he was a evil karma on Fallout 3, and he had to, like, unlock one room that had the sweet armor or something, and he ran out of bobby pins, and it turns out he'd killed the guy who was, like, the only guy who could give you more. So that kind of made him stop playing, <laughs> which is funny. But, uh, yeah, it was, what is that animal? What animal? Right there. That? Yeah. That is, like, a giant ram cow. Can you ride it? I wish. Because look how awesome it looks. Actually, it looks really creepy, but I would love to ride that. So let's go uh, make that fire, or whatever. Unless there's more we gotta do. Yeah, sad. <laughs> Sadly, there's more we have to do, but I'll just I'll just get it real quick. What, like more stuff to get, or what? Yeah, we had to. That was just one ingredient by the schoolhouse, and oh. Okay, so I think I think we're gonna end this episode right here, so we can get this stuff and not bore you guys too much, and we'll we'll continue it back when um when we start the mission or we're on our way back to the mission. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for next episode tomorrow.